How's it going guys? It's Rich Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking to you about this device right here. This is my Lenovo K3 Note and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to install your very first custom ROM. Specifically we're going to be installing a Saigen Mod 12.1 or CM 12.1 which is running Lollipop. This device already comes with Lollipop on it but it comes with a ton of garbage and a ton of ads and it's really really annoying. We get this custom ROM installed and you'll have freedom and everything will work and we'll get rid of all those ads. So thumbs up to that. One prerequisite is go ahead and watch my root video because you're going to need to have custom recovery already installed. So that being said, get that installed, watch that video and you'll be able to follow along very easily with this process. Let's go do this. So first things first, we got to know what device we're on. So if you go into settings, we can show you that. This is the Lenovo K3 Note, but if you come in here and then go to device information, you'll see I'm on Android 5.0. You'll see right there my model number is Lenovo K50-T5. Really important to make sure you're on the same stuff. Here's my build number if you want to look at that. But mainly the device is what you got to make sure is the same. And of course have uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery already installed on your device from previous video like mentioned earlier. Besides that, you're just going to want to go into your browser and go to this site right here. This is my website. This is rootjunkiesdl.com. I don't know why this keeps coming up. It's just annoying. Again, got to get this software off here because it's driving me crazy. So if you just scroll down here to Lenovo K3 Note, you click on it. And then scroll down, you should see this thing called CM. Scroll down again, and you should see this file right here. See it? CM 12.1 K3 Note zip, and then download the GAPS 5.1 zip. Download those two files. Here's recovery again if you don't have it, the K3 Note recovery image that you have to have installed, or uh, Clockwork Mod recovery. So download those files and know where they are on your device. I'll show you where mine are really quickly. Mine are in downloads right here. If yours don't download to downloads, because sometimes this browser is kind of goofy, you can come down here and go to D or UC downloads, and they might be in that folder. Okay? Just know where they are on your device so that you can find them once you get into recovery. So we're going to boot into recovery. To do that, we're going to go ahead and power off the device. And from here, we're going to turn it for a quick sec, and we're going to hold the volume up and down buttons, and then hold power. As soon as you see the device boot, you can, let's see if it'll do it, let go of the power button, keep holding the volume up and down, and it will boot into custom recovery. So here is my custom recovery. Now from here, it's very simple to do the install. We're just going to go down here to wipe data factory set. Well, actually, let me mention a couple of quick things first. If you want the, the stock firmware back, I tried doing a backup. Um, I gotta go back. Hang on. A backup and a restore with this with this device. Go back um, with this option. So backup and I, I the backup takes. It looks great and I tried to restore it after flashing CM12 uh, and it failed and left me in a boot loop and I was kind of bricked. So to get it working again, I had to do a firmware restore with Lenovo's tool. So anyway, that might be a situation. You might want to run a backup but you're going to lose all your data, but you'll be so much happier with the new system once it's installed. You'll never want to go back to stock again. That being said, we're going to go ahead and do a wipe data factory set, and we'll do that. Hit enter, or I should say power button. Go down and yes, wipe all user data. This is going to delete everything off the device, so make sure you've backed up all of your pictures and anything else on your device that you might want, just in case they get erased. If they're on your SD card that's in the back, they'll probably be fine. So we'll go ahead and say yes, wipe all user data. And it's going to go ahead and do that really quickly. Shouldn't take very long. There we go. Then we're going to go down to install zip and hit power. Scroll uh, actually right there, install zip from SD card. And we're going to go down to downloads. There it is. And then right there is it's already selected, CM 12.1. Hit yes to install it and it's going to go ahead and install. Now once this is done, you're going to end up with CM12 and you're going to end up with fully working Google applications. So you'll have Google Play Store, everything should be functioning like it would um, in the US. So if you're having 
uh, if you're in a country where things are being blocked, this will get it all working for you. Um, so that's almost done. Updating boot image. It really shouldn't take too long. These files are pretty small. Actually, my Google applications are almost as big as um, the ROM, if I remember right. Okay, so again, install zip from SD card. Down to downloads. Enter. Google applications or gaps. Yes, install. And they're going to install. So that's really the whole process. This is, like I said, not hard to do. Once you've followed my video for installing custom recovery, um, you'll be good to go. So we're going to go back. Reboot options. So select that one. Uh, reboot system now. And here we go. This is going to be first boot up here on the Lenovo K3 Note running CM12. Oh, yeah. Check out that boot animation. That is one beautiful sign. Now, I'm going to say from here, I'm going to let this thing boot, and I'm going to go through the initial, um, what am I trying to say here, the initial setup and get that finished, and then I'm going to show you it running the ROM. That's basically what it is, or CM12. I'll show it to you running, show you kind of a quick little quick walkthrough. If you've ever seen SideGemma before, you should know what it's all about. Um, but basically, I'll give you a quick walkthrough of it, and we'll wrap it up from there. So I just had to show you this, guys, so that you understand all the languages that this supports. So you can see right now it says stuff in, I guess that's Chinese. I honestly don't know. But I'm just going to scroll through some of these languages. So if you're overseas, you're in another country, I'm in the U.S. here, you can see what languages will work with this ROM. So here you go. You can see, I don't even know, I'm going to try to pronounce all these. These are all places that should have a language supported. I'm going to scroll until I find mine. United Kingdom, United States. English, United States. That's me right there. So I'm going to go ahead and run through that setup. But it does do, uh, I mean, you can see it's French. I mean, it just, yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot. It probably supports your language is basically what I'm getting at. All right, so here we go. We booted up. Finally got through the install or setup process, which is a pain in the neck because it's got this Chinese keyboard. But that being said, let's look through some of this. So we're going to go in our app drawer, which we have, finally have an app drawer. And there's something I want to point out. Well, a couple things I want to point out. First of all, we do have SuperSue installed here. So root access is managed through SuperSue. There's also a built-in root access um, through Sygen mod, but it looks like SuperSue got installed with this. There's also some other things that got installed. You can see this little dumb panda bear. Yeah, that got installed. That was super annoying. Um, and a couple different things here that got installed as well that I want to get rid of. They're Chinese. This ROM was developed by some Chinese guy who made it, I'm assuming, because that's where I got it. I installed Google Keyboard because one of these Chinese applications is the keyboard, and it, it really irritates me. So just download Google Keyboard from the Play Store if you don't like the uh, default keyboard, and just go through this really quick. Enable. Turn on Google Keyboard. There we go. Switch input method to it. And finish. So we can go ahead and get out of it. Now we can uninstall some of this junk that's in here that's really irritating. So we'll go in here and we'll go ahead and uninstall this. If I can do it. Go to app info. There it is. And for stop. Well, it's only letting me disable it. I can still do it with root access if I really want to. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna come over here, app info, for stop disable all right I'll, I'll uninstall it with root if I have to that's like why I say what I'll do so same thing with here app info force stop disable if it's disabled it's not running so it really doesn't matter but just saying all right so now we're cleaning up all that garbage we got rid of the dumb floating panda bear and we have a correct Google keyboard now I'm pretty happy with this this is now rocking so now let's look through it Again, you can see everything here looks pretty much standard with Sygen mod. Um, you do have the uh, audio FX, music player, your theme engines, like I said, root access there, messaging application. Um, pretty much standard stuff here. There's nothing really too out of the ordinary. Um, there's my Google keyboard I installed. We can pull down. You can see flashlight. You can see Wi Fi. You can see that's in signals in Chinese or so that's a little interesting. Really not a big deal. Who cares? Wi Fi is connected. 
um, we can go into settings and you have some sim card information here sim card one and two i don't have any sim cards in this right now but they're there so you can mess with that if you want to um, down here you can go into themes and theming is really awesome on side you mind you can go in here to the play store get themes download them totally change the way your device looks and operates um, what else do we have uh, notification manager you can go into that button layouts battery stuff so battery's cool you got that power saver mode um, let's go ahead and look at notification manager just uh, some heads up things notif app notifications yeah different uh, stuff you can edit in here let's go to buttons back buttons double tap stuff there's really a lot of customization built into just stock signage mod which is just really nice let's go to status bar and this is battery circle up here I don't really like that I'd rather have well circle is actually okay but I want to see text in it or percentage so inside there you go it tells me my battery percentage and just tons and tons of customization also if you come in here to about you can then check it out right here android 5.1.1 which is awesome so that's newer than what stock is on go to build number and tap on that and you'll become a developer i also see c linux status is disabled so that's interesting we're going to go back now we have unlocked performance and developer options also let's see is there anything else in here i'm missing and I think that's it. Let's go into um, developer options. I always turn on advanced reboot. Uh, that's just something I always do. USB debugging. Here's this root access mode right here, which you can enable or disable. So that's the built in. And then ADB debugging is already turned on. So it's not bad. Performance. So you can come in here and look at your processor and your schedulers and change some overclocking things or underclocking. So it's cool. Some more customization there. But like I said, this is pretty much standard things. So now that you have the reboot menu turned on, you can hold this down, hit reboot, and now you can soft reboot, reboot to recovery, or reboot to bootloader. So that's kind of the beauty of you know these 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 custom custom ROMs. So like I said, from here you're pretty much good, guys. This thing is solid. You can you know fully use it again it's got functionality doesn't have any more ads and junk on it and go ahead and install any apps you want to your heart's delight everything that i've seen so far on it is functional and i'm really happy about that i mean everything does function here camera turn off tagging because that's annoying you know camera does work take a quick picture here for you guys so you can see swipe over there's your camera so yeah it is it's a fully functional device and i am loving it this brings the k3 note into a whole new level so that's gonna wrap it up for me guys hope you like this install and kind of quick little overview here of cm12 on the lenovo k3 note stay tuned for more videos probably doing a restore video at some point on this thing and i uh, hope you will be staying tuned for that we'll catch you guys in the next one root junkie out